As the shutdown continues, 800,000 federal workers remain furloughed or working without pay. That's the case for many TSA employees. Oh, that's a mess. CBS 17's Amy Cutler live at Raleigh International Airport. Amy, that's leading to more sick calls. It is. The TSA confirming the number of sick calls coming in from their employees continues to rise. Still, they insist security has not been compromised. They check your ID and screen your baggage, ensuring our nation's airports are safe. But during this partial government shutdown, TSA employees aren't being paid. I give them props for doing their job, and I'm so sorry that this is going on. Deborah Braun understands their predicament better than most. She's a former federal employee. The TSA now saying the number of sick calls among their employees is up. No, I didn't notice anything different. Actually, I was thinking to myself, how come? They're being for not getting paid. In a statement, the TSA said callouts began over the holiday period and have increased, but are causing minimal impact given there are 51,739 employees supporting the screening process. To put it in perspective, the TSA says their agents screened more than 2.2 million passengers Thursday alone. Farmers also feeling the pressure. Farm service agencies are closed. Farmers have nowhere to go. Uh, for whether it's market transition payments or loans or whatever information that we need. So we're just, we're just sitting idle, wait. Farm service agencies are part of the U.S. Department of Agriculture. During the shutdown, money coming from the USDA for hurricane relief aren't available, nor is funding for farmers affected by tariffs. I feel lost, and, and uh, so I'm, I'm certain there are other farmers like me. And members of our state Farm Bureau went to D.C. just yesterday trying to urge lawmakers to end the government shutdown. Live at RDU, Amy Cutler, CBS 17 News.